Pretty chilly out there this morning. Uh, you're looking at some dry roads right now over Monroe. Clear skies and a bit of a chilly start. Our chilliest temperatures since May. We'll have those temperatures in the 60s today and really not budging much warmer than that. For us, advisory is in effect actually for the high country this morning. The mountains and the foothills could find these temperatures in the middle and upper 30s, which could be enough to put some frost on that cold vegeta on that cold sensitive vegetation. So you'll need a jacket this morning. The pets should spend more time inside and those plants might have some minor frost damage, especially if they are cold sensitive. Is it too early for this? Actually not, not for the high country. Boone's first average frost is about October 8th, which is the last check. I think it was today's date, so about right on schedule. Not too early for these frosty conditions in the high country. Charlotte, though, is usually frost free uh, for another couple of weeks, not until the first week of November. The temperatures have really tumbled since yesterday. 20 to 25 degrees colder across much of the area. Just temperatures again, really just taking a nosedive uh, going for a temperature right now at 44 degrees in Charlotte, which is the coldest that we've been since May 4th. So our first real cold snap here of the season. First real taste of fall. It's down to 39 in Wadesboro, 39 also in Concord, some upper 30s up in the high country again, where some of that minor frost is possible. But you've got this chilly air really spilling in for much of the East Coast this morning. You can see where temperatures are about 15 to 20 degrees colder from Boston down towards uh, Atlanta with that chilly air settling in along the East Coast. It's all because we had this cold front come through. Uh, it was like Friday into Saturday, and that's what's pulling in that much cooler air behind it. Some showers continuing up in the northeast this morning. So temperatures today will be below average. Average is 76 degrees. We're going about 10 degrees below that with temperatures kind of struggling in the middle and upper 60s today. It's going to be really bright though. Lots of sunshine, really pretty bright and blue, but the temperatures are not going to really budge too far. You're looking at again highs in the middle and upper 60s with the sunshine. Cold again going into tomorrow morning. Jackets at the bus stop with the kids with temperatures again starting out in the 40s. And then we'll have a mix of sun and clouds going to tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures rebounding a little bit going into the low 70s. So the, the chilly air is a little bit brief, right? We'll find temperatures warming up as we go into the week. Looking at highs, getting back into the middle and upper 70s. Already going into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So back up towards average. So our chill here is pretty short-lived. One more night in the 40s. And then we'll find those overnight lows get again a little bit closer to average in the 50s. Now this cool snap will start to trigger those leaves a little bit more that fall color. Chilly nights, mild sunny days, no big storms. That's what you need for some really nice fall color that's already starting to pop in the high country, starting to find some of that color uh, again a little bit bright. You do have to wait a couple of more weeks in Charlotte. That peak in Charlotte isn't really until the first week of uh, November sometimes. You're getting that peak a little bit closer up in the high country mid-October there. Again, sunshine today, chilly, middle and upper 60s. You're going to keep things clear and cold again tonight, another night in the 40s. A chilly start on Monday. We'll keep things quiet through a lot of the week with temperatures rebounding back to average.